hi everyone welcome back to my channel so first of all i'm just going to say if there's any noise in the background i'm really sorry um my housemates have just got back home so there's going to be a little bit of background noise as well as the main road that i live by so you know perfect settings for a video also my bedroom let's not talk about it so i'm going to be trying out the new huda beauty toffee brown obsessions palette which comes like this it does come with these um plastic cases i mean at this point i don't know why she's putting it in these because it's actually just such a waste there is absolutely no point to it it does not protect my palette in any way but the color i mean once i show you this <laughs> is that not just me in a palette i mean it's very autumny vibes but it could also be summer vibes i feel like she really does know how to color coordinate all her shears. She came out with three different types. So this is the toffee brown. Um, I think this is the lightest one out of the bunch. Then she came out with a caramel and a chocolate. I'm pretty sure this is the same price as all of her other Obsessions palettes around the 27 pound mark. I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. I mean, I get all these different eyeshadow primers, but I always end up going back to my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna use the, um, palette before i do my skin just as um if you've used huda palettes before you will know that they do tend to have a bit of fallout so so i think first of all i'm just going to go into this really nice orange shade and put that into the crease oh it actually comes out a bit darker than i thought it would i like it though yeah okay that will do I'll use a tiny bit of this red just to see what's going on here. I always start from the outer corner, otherwise it can go a bit muddy. Oi. Okay, you literally need the tiniest bit of this colour. Definitely looks a little bit more brown when it's on the eye, opposed to the bright red in the pan. And I'm just going to use the brush I used for the orange shade and blend them together. Not too high. Um, I'm just going to use the darker shade in the palette and kind of go to that similar place on the eye. Okay, this weirdly doesn't make it that much darker on me. I don't know if it's because you've got that that red already underneath. Um, hmm. Yeah, it didn't really do much difference. It's still very much the same kind of depth that we had before, which I always find with the darker colours. I think it is actually the darker colours in the Obsessions palettes that are a bit tricky for me. I'm just trying to see how many colours I can use without it getting a bit mad. So I'm just going to use the yellow in the middle um obviously i know this has got a bit of brown on it but i'm trying to use the other side and just go the very top just to get that mustard yellowy color in there just kind of almost wiping it right across the top okay i don't know what shimmer to go for I mean, I'll show you in the back of my hand. So we'll go with this one first. Ooh, it's a bit, um, it's a bit crumbly feeling. That's really pretty. Ooh, okay, wasn't expecting that. Let's try this one. This kind of looks similar to the one I had in the Gold Obsessions. Oh, that's so nice. That's that one there. Um, and then let's try this side. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a really nice coppery gold. And then lastly, I'm running out of fingers. And then lastly, obviously, there's the gold at the top, which is going to be that, I think, true gold. Oh, okay, that's very similar. This one's just a lot more warm. This is probably like they're just a normal gold pale gold and this is a really nice champagne -y kind of gold hmm i'm not gonna lie i really like the first one but it's not as opaque as the other ones i think i might try this one and then put a bit of this one on top 
so just with that bottom gold color i'm just gonna swipe it with my finger Oi. that is a really nice color just match the other side okay and then i'm just gonna take that bottom shade that was a little bit more of like a glitter and just press that over the top oh i love that okay right in the center that looks so nice yes just going to use a little bit of that palest gold trying to swirl it the colors all around and just put in the corners okay i'm just going to put a little bit of the deep brown and orange underneath my eye do some eyeliner and then i will be back okay so i've just finished off my makeup um i've added some lashes on these are the unicorn lashes in stormy um and just to finish off i've got the huda beauty power bullet green glow so basically she's come out with some kind of satin glossy finished lipsticks opposed to the power matte bullets that she already has so i got one from the category bossy browns she's come out with three categories again they come in light medium or dark um so this is actually in the light category for bossy browns i think there's like a pink category as well this color is in the shade raja so with these ones you can actually see that it's got a see-through lid so you can see the bullet in inside uh, whereas the old ones are like solid you can't see through them and this is what raja looks like so i'm thinking because it's glossy it's probably going to come up really light on my lips but we will see oh i love that really really creamy Mm. I can't I can't really smell anything so I don't think it has a scent no I love that color ah oh, perfect nude color this lipstick formula really reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury kissing lipsticks this is the finished look so from earlier you could see I swatched some of the golds so I'm just going to finish off now by swatching the mattes I mean I don't think swatches really do tell how eyeshadows apply but i know some people might want to see so i'm just gonna go in with the reddish shade which you can see it just looks brown on me which is what happened on my eyelid um i'm gonna go with the orange just about shows up on my skin tone which is why i use like a lighter eye base um we're gonna go for that mustard yellow color oh wow that literally just disappeared yellow was a little bit harder to get on it was a bit more chalkier so i mean use that at your own risk i mean you can you can't really see it much on my eye anymore but it's kind of nice if you need to blend another color out of the darkest one which i mean i suppose that is cooler toned you can see a little bit of a difference when they're swatched like that and then you've got the lightest one in the pans which is like this bone shade so overall if you love your warm mustard golden tones you're probably going to love this palette um like i said it's not like a massive variety of colors in it you've kind of got your basics from light to dark so i mean there is a lot of different looks you can do with it um but i feel like if you need an everyday kind of palette and you're into these colors this is going to be really really good for you i mean i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of golds i now have from huda beauty in general so i feel like we need to go completely different um i know she does have other palettes but they just don't uh, they don't speak to me as much as the gold so i guess it's my own fault this one is really really nice i would say out of the three palettes that she launched that this is the most different to uh what she's brought out before 
The other two looked a little bit samey to me. They looked a little bit similar to the nude obsessions that are already out, even though they're not the exact same colors. Um, so I just wanted something completely different from her in my collection. Um, one thing I will say is you need to try this lipstick. If you love a glossy lip, if you love a nude, you're gonna have to try it because this is such a lovely formula. It feels so moisturizing and it does actually cover my lip color really well. It's not completely sheer. It does have a decent medium kind of coverage to the lips. Let me know in the comments below if you picked up any of the brown obsessions that Huda's launched. Let me know your thoughts and how it worked for you. And as well, what other shades you think would suit me from the new Cream Glow collection because I mean, I'm loving this. It's not ideal for masks, but I feel like if I've got like a really nice garden party to go to where I don't really have to wear a mask in a non-public kind of setting, this is going to be the new summer look. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe before you leave. It really helps me out and I will see you in my next one. Bye!